going on? It's your boy LB at the 52 Block Lab. So we're gonna talk about some 52 and different ways to uh, defend. Like you don't want to believe that everything has to be blocks. You know, there are interceptions and a lot of your defenses are your feet. So let's take a look at it. So a lot of the times it's like, how do you know when to throw up the skull and crossbones? Like, are you telepathic? Do you see it in his eyes? There's a lot of different things you can use. People give off a lot of tell, tell signs before they punch. You want to pick up on those. But if you can't, the best way is position. So if I'm standing, he's standing here and I'm standing right here, I can almost assume what his best punch is. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna tell him to shoot a punch and I'm gonna throw up what I think he should. So I, I almost fortune told what type of punch he was gonna throw. Why? Because I stood right in front of him. <laughs> so positioning is how you learn to know when to throw up what block. If I stand in front of the right hand, I'm almost expecting the right hand to come. If I zone myself all the way to his left side, I expect the left foot. If I bend down too low in front of his right hand, I expect the left foot. So this is the way you can start to almost predict and force him. Like, if I step there, I'll force him. If he's a good fighter, I will force him to make a move that I want to do, thus helping me to know which block to use. Now, short punching, the twisting that we do is also a good way of defending. Punch against punch. So it's like long sword versus dagger. So he's the long sword, and I'm the dagger. Exactly. That was an overhand to his jab. You see, I don't have to reach his hand. Why? Because he has the long sword. He's coming to me. So it, it makes me able to predict his block most of the time. Instead of doing this, throw your jab. Yeah, like reaching out, he's already in. Because this is long for long. But if I do short for long, go. I can defend against this hand. It's your boy.